welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorial today how to do uh, the color correction i will show you this process I downloaded some okay girl with coffee this 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 one and just press the open options in this photo it looks nice but uh, the underexposed and the skin is not not properly just uh, retouched that's why that's why i will show you how to do that okay at first you make a copy by pressing ctrl j of this layer and after that make another copy of this layer just turn is off and just select this one layer one and go to the skin options and then go to the blending options and slide this blending slider and find out the highlighted area okay okay in the face press the alter button and just divide this one and just adjust with the layers okay it okay after that turn it on and make it multiply after making multiply go to the blending options and slide and find out the shadow area and press the alter button and just make it more natural or adjust with the color okay you can reduce the opacity and this one and this one also make a group of these two layers and make it mask go to the image and apply image hit the ok button ok let's see the changes of this one before and after ok after that make a group of these three layers and just make it merge and go to the filter and the put to your folder in this filter I will do the skin retouch of this photo and I reduce it warm add some just tint okay and give some sharpness and hit the ok button okay after doing that just make it mask and make it reverse mask by press ctrl i and make it white and take the brush and just brush the face don't brush the eyes and the eyebrows okay just brush on the skin What I have done here, uh, I just done that uh, I want to keep the change in skin only, not in the whole image. That's why I am just brushing this one and making it like that. This one is the previous color tone of my skin and then the present one. And then make a group and make a make it merge and go to the filter and camera raw filter. After going to the camera filter, this portion is uh, highlighted. That's why I'm reducing the highlighted options and add some shadow, add some exposure. Okay, then I'm going to the HSL and increase some light or luminance of orange and decrease the saturation of orange and hit the ok button ok that's good and go to the filter again and can then camera filter again and go to the camera calibration and make it the hue like that decrease the saturation of red and go to the HSL and increase the saturation of red and luminance reduce this one ok and 
after that increase the clarity increase the contrast add some amount of sharpness luminance reduce the noise reducer and hit the ok button okay after that go to the adjustment layer and go to the color lookup and add the horror blue and make it just like that keep the opacity like that and after that go to the curves after going curves just press here and go to the blue just press here and make it like that and in a RGB mode just okay and then go to the level and take the curves in front of the level and make a group of these four layers and make it merge and then go to the filter and the nick collection color effects pro color effects pro is nice filter there are lots of filters you can use this uh, i am using cross processing and in the options of cross processing filter you will get more filter if you want okay there is lots of filter and i will add a warm filter this one is warm and here are also other warm filter or cool filters and i will add this one this one is good hit the ok button okay it's loading okay and make a group and make it merge okay uh, let's see what was the stock image the previous one this one is a previous image and now the present one i am adding the cinematic effect if you want to add this type of effect on your photo you have to follow the way don't forget to subscribe my channel and share with your friend till the next video i am asmr if signing out and bye bye